In the last video, we checked the functional functionality of Ozone Insight tool, and to demonstrate Ozone Insight, we had a cluster. Okay. Actually, I had the cluster. This video is about how can you start an Ozone cluster very easily to try out any spe specific feature. So the e easiest way to start Apache Hadoop Ozone is just using Docker Compose. Actually, there are two main options. One, you can download the latest release from the download page of the Ozone. You can find it on the Ozone page, hadoop.apache.org slash ozone. And under the download, you can see the latest release. It's important that you should use the binary release. You can uncompress it to a directory and just go to the Compose Ozone subfolder. Or you can do a build from the source. It's not very hard. It's just a standard Maven. You don't need anything else, just Maven and Java. Clean install. You can skip the test. And you can go to the directory, which is exactly the same, which is released in the binary package. And there you can go to the Compose Ozone. Okay, I have the second, so I just did a build quickly, so I can go to the Hadoop Ozone, this target Ozone. So this is what you would see if you download the release. And here you can see that we have a Compose subfolder with, with multiple examples. So let's go to the Ozone, this is the simplest one, and just do a docker compose up. Minus D means that uh, I would like to start the services in the background and I have the ozone cluster. You can see the primary nodes, the SCM and ozone manager. I have one data node. I have the S3 compatible REST gateway and uh, web UI and production service. And you can see that here you can see the ports which are exposed to the host. So for example, to check the recon in your host, it's 9888. So we can just check if it's running 9888. Oh, okay. And, and it's running. Not all of the data nodes are reported, but eventually it uh, will be. Okay, let's go back. What can we do? Well, uh, first of all, we can check the web UI. We can check the logs, just with Docker Compose logs and to check any service, for example, SCM. So this is the standard output of the SCM. So SCM existing, ex exciting safe mode, exiting safe mode. So it seems to be that it's work very well, Docker Compose. The other one what I can do is just uh, login or attach to the container, so exec scm and I can start a bash session there. And if, okay, so this is inside the scm node, I can do any kind of uh, ozone, let's say volume create, I can run any kind of ozone comments. Okay, so I have the new ozone volume. Volume is the top level object in the hierarchy. We have volume, buckets and keys. Okay, but I can do anything. So it's very easy to test and it's from Ozone point of view, it seems to be a real node because it runs in a separated Docker container. Okay, what else do we have? Yeah, the last one, Docker Compose Scale. This is my favorite one because it's very easy to scale up and down. So we have one data node, but if we need more data nodes, it's very easy because we can just say that Docker Compose scale data node equals three. And three data nodes has been started. So I can test real pipelines, real replication. What else what we can do? Okay, Docker Compose down. This is not only shut down the cluster, but it's very important that it deletes all of the persistent data. So it's very good to run it before running a second attempt because in that case you can start from the beginning all of the persistent data the slash data volume inside the containers will be deleted 
Okay, and other there is a helper script, at least in the main Ozone folder, the run as age, which just calls the Docker Compose, but you can configure it to run with different number of replicas. So let's try Ozone Replication Factor 3 run minus day. It not only starts the cluster with three data nodes, but also configures Ozone to wait until all of the three data nodes are connected to the SCM. So it's, it's the safest way to start a multi-node Ozone cluster locally. Okay, what else what we can do? Another thing is that we have some optional services like Prometheus or Jaeger or distributed tracing server. So what I can do is just uh, turn down the cluster and I can define what components should be included. So the, the normal compose YAML is the default one, but for example, I need monitoring. And with this environment variable, both the files will be read by the Docker Compose and used. So let's say I would like to Docker Compose up. Oh, I couldn't stop. Okay, let's try it. A full down. Okay, everything is down. And now I can just start. Yeah, it's working. Down is our favorite reset. And Docker Compose PS. And you can see that I have additional components, Grafana, Prometheus and Jaeger for distributed tracing, just with defining additional Docker Compose files. Okay, what else what we can do? Actually, there, this is just one directory, the slash compose slash ozone, but there are multiple, multiple subdirectories here. So you can see that we have ozone map reduce examples with real yarn. We have ozone container storage interface examples and example for different topology to test rack awareness. So you can just check different type of, of uh, setup. And it's very good because sometimes uh, it's, it's hard to understand the configuration based just the document documentation. So it's some additional information for the documentation. For example, this is the secure. And if I check the Docker config, um, oh, this is the Ozone script. So Ozone secure, and I check the Docker config, you can see that for a full carburized cluster, these are the required settings, which should be set to start. So if you have any problem with the secure cluster, it's just as easy as compare your configuration with this example configuration. And usually the next question when somebody says that, okay, it seems to be very great because it's very cheap to start uh, a cluster. Actually, we do it all the time during the development, but if it's so cheap, why don't we use it for, for testing? And this is exactly what we do. So all of these configuration are tested with, with every pull request. And we have this test SH, which is nothing more just turning down all of the uh, components, starting a new cluster and executing a few shell scripts to test uh, what's going on. Yeah, I have Grafana, so first I need to uh, turn down everything. I can unset that uh, uh, compose file environment variable and I can just start with the test sh, which will execute some tests. But the exact details will be discussed in a next video. So that was the easiest way and now we have this tool to easily check out, uh, easily start any Ozone cluster. So in the next video we can we can use the cluster and and check it. How does it work?